Innovation is wonderful, but let's do it in a way that does not isolate and connects all of us. Thank you. All right, interoperability, one core value. We'll make a note of that one. Uh, the real Bertrand de la Chapelle, perhaps I could call you rather than your imitator. Um, what about a core value, Bertrand? Uh, I, I think perhaps I might suggest liberté, égalité, and fraternity. <laughs> Uh, actually, thank you. I had a hope to make a longer uh, comment, but I understand the constraints. Um, I would suggest something that is coexistence. The challenge we have is to basically define the rules of engagement for a broader and broader diversity of people with different values, with different moral, cultural, religious values, political values, and how do we define the rules of engagement and the governance protocol that allows us to stay in a common space and respect one another? Just want in this respect to pay tribute, as others have done, to Marcus Nitin and all of the Secretariat for the tremendous job they've done in creating for us and with us this unique self-replicating format. Bertrand, thank you very much. Apologies there isn't time for a longer, uh, longer submission. Uh, Alan Michael, a core value. Hold on, Alejandro. Wait, wait one moment. I'll let Alan Michael speak first and then Alejandro. Thank you. Um, can I offer two? The first reflects the last remark, which is the independence of the Secretariat, so that uh, hmm. uh, they can continue uh, to reflect the atmosphere of the whole IGF process and the respect for all the participants. I think that's a very important core value for the future. Uh, the second is a specific point about applying the principle of cooperation. It applies particularly to issues of regulation and legislation, which I think we're all agreed should be kept to a minimum. It's not about self-regulation, but cooperative re regulation. The essential pr principle is that where the primary role is with government and industry, industry taking the practical lead, government, uh, government internationally or nationally having the legislative role. It's essential for the engagement of parliamentarians across party to provide accountability along with civil society to provide transparency as well as creative engagement. We have seen the number of parliamentarians go up each year and the quality of the participation improve each year and I think that can only be good. Thank you very much. Okay, cooperation. That's seven so far, including David Wood's three core principles. Uh, Alejandro, uh, you've been looking a lot at core values. A short, short view on core value. Um, thank you. First of all, plus one. <laughs> May I go on record with a plus one? I have to Alan Michael's statement. Um, the discussions uh, about core values will have to reflect uh, many other discussions in the IGF which bring together layers of uh, over five years, maybe ten years of discussions and we will have to be able to accommodate them in the future formats. Last evening we had a meeting of the Dynamic Coalition on Core Values of the Internet. Uh, the work program that was agreed was to start immediately uh, to map out the debates that emerge from the core values because these are, we saw last evening, extreme positions like totally open internet versus uh, almost totally closed uh, ID system and uh, pre-accreditation of users emerging from an interpretation each of openness. Um, I will add that uh, during the meeting today on core values, one of the contributions I made in, in the end, which was, seems to reflect many people's views, is permanent beta. Permanent beta is a derivative of all others uh, but it's one of the things that we continually have to have on the internet, an ample space for experimentation and for success of whatever uh, is found useful and good. And I would like to surmise uh, also that uh, it would appear that following up on the very good reception uh, that Everton Lucero's motion uh, is finding uh, that, uh, and, and which you are echoing and Marcos is uh, allowing, uh, to go on on core values, that the dynamic coalition has already its work cut out, and we would uh, be very glad to carry on that piece of the work forward. Thank you. All right, thank you very much indeed. Um, sorry, gentlemen, there, you're about to have a core value for us. 
Core Value, Steve Del Bianco with NetChoice, and for our part in the online business, we have a core value that says innovation without permission is not innovation without responsibility. And we've become a lot faster and better at responding and changing our products and services to complaints and concerns that are raised by users, by critics, advocates, and in fact governments. And we're faster and better at that than any of us are at trying to design, promulgate, and enforce new laws that never keep up with innovation on internet time. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, Bertrand, very quick intervention for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm cheating, I know. Just one thing, you're actually addressing two different topics and it's making emerging the notion not of core value of the internet only, but the core values of the IGF. Mm -hmm. And the core values of the IGF, I would suggest two additional ones, openness and self-organization. Mm -hmm. And I would like to support for next year the idea of taking the Brazilian list of principles for the core values of the internet as an input into the IGF. We talk about outcomes, we can take that as a base for discussion. That's okay, Bertrand. Sounds as though core values ought to be the title of next year's uh, IGF. Uh, gentlemen there, very quickly, yes. Uh, we will, uh, you can, if you want, you can have my microphone very briefly. Huh? Thank you very much, uh, Philip Okuni from Kenya. I just want to add, uh, because I'll be speaking later at the closing session, uh, that uh, first I want to congratulate uh, the leadership of the Secretariat under Marcus uh, Kumar. Uh, many, but I just want to add the core values. One of them is that um, we would like to see it uh, maintained, the current uh, style and leadership, which is an, uh, which has allowed people from various parts of the industry, government, operators discussing freely without tying people to a major decision which will tie people up uh, to, towards a long-term future. Second one is that uh, we've seen a growth in the developing world into more participation in the IGF forums. And this has been encouraged by the manner in which it's been managed. And uh, I think we think that that core value difficult to describe, but it needs to be maintained, it needs to be explored so that more and more of us will find IGF as a forum where all countries, all leaders, all members of the industry can come and discuss items without necessarily uh, leaving, without, uh, you know, being uh, restricted unnecessarily. So I think I just wanted to add, but most of the things that have been said, I really support. Thank you. All right, much. thank you. Well, perhaps one core value is a multi-stakeholder participation. Uh, perhaps one last core value from the gentleman just there, and then we'll hear from Hendrik as our chairman uh, for his closing thoughts. Maybe Marcus has a core value as well. <laughs> uh, gentleman there. Okay, uh, this gentleman is called Katim Toure. I'm from the Gambia, which is a small country in West Africa, and with the Free and Open Source Software Foundation for Africa, FOSFA and also a member of the Board of Directors of ICANN, that's the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. I thought I would give help to my big brother from Kenya, uh, Honorable Okundi, when he said that the idea of trying to get as many people involved uh, in the IGF is, is a bit difficult to describe. I call it inclusiveness. Uh, I think of myself really as speaking up here on behalf of the many multitudes of millions of people in Africa and indeed all over the world who have no internet access, who have no access to the mobile phone, and I think we'd be doing a great disservice to the world if the IGF doesn't strive to be as inclusive as it possibly can. Thank you. Thank you very much, inclusiveness. Okay, great. Well, I think those, uh, those core values are something we can discuss, of course, uh, for the next few months. It'll be a useful, I'm sure, email exchange between us all in the time ahead. Thank you very much for your participation. I'm sorry I didn't get to you all. There were an awful lot of people who wanted to speak, and we just didn't have time.